area and we're gonna apply it to our painting. So I'm gonna work on, I think this is Anna's painting, but it's a photocopy. So you start with your hard edge flame using my round brush. Okay, now I want this to dry. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my layers of glow using that gloss gel medium. So I'm going to use the flat brush for this. I wanna make an orange. Mix that into that gloss gel. I'm gonna go right on top. And then I'm gonna go lightly, thinking about dry brush, kind of fading it out. Maybe I wanna add some of this also onto this candle. Maybe there's a yellow glow coming onto the candle. Maybe there's also some of that yellow glow hitting the peaks. I'm running out of color. Peaks of the cupcake. So it's nice with this gloss gel is now we can use our paint a little more transparent without just diluting it with water. Okay, I need more of that glow coming out on the left. Oh, I'm all out. Again, dry brush is where you don't have a lot of paint on your brush. Just kind of feathering it out, make it feel gradual. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some more. You could do yellow, you could do red. I wanna go red. I need more of this gloss gel. It's pretty dry. Okay, so once you finish your buildup of transparent layers, the trick is getting that hard edge shape again of your light. And you go right back on top. Maybe I kind of like that yellow inside. Can add some white to some highlights of this candle. And then I can also put some yellow, kind of soften this edge. Okay, I wish I had more transparent layers there, but this video is long enough. 